Finally, we can visualize the mock number again using a contour plot. Create the new plot as before. Name this Mock Contours. Change Contours of to Velocity. And change Velocity Magnitude to Mach Number. And click Save Slash Display. And close the window. As before, we can see that the flow starts as subsonic, but reaches supersonic conditions at the outlet. If we right click on the plot, we can see the values of the Mach number band in the console. Clicking near the center of the nozzle, at its minimum area location. We can see, in the console, that the Mach number is around 1. This matches expectations of converging-diverging nozzles, as the flow should reach sonic conditions at the minimum area location, called the throat. Before this point, the fluid in the converging section is subsonic, and after this point, the fluid in the diverging section is supersonic. We want to investigate the Mach number one more time using an XY plot. In the Results tab, click XY Plot and select New. In the pop-up window, name this Mach Plot. Change the y-axis function to velocity. And change the selection to be Mach number. The x-axis function should be direction vector. In the surfaces list, select axis and wall to plot the Mach number along both surfaces. Click Save Slash Plot, and close the window. This shows the Mach number variation along the length of the nozzle in both locations. While the trends mentioned before are visible, this also shows clearly that the Mach number is not constant across the cross-section, as assumed in our analytical approach. The Mach number is initially lower near the edges of the nozzle, but it ends up being larger at the exit. We can compare this further to our analytical results from a quasi-1D analysis. First, make sure you have downloaded the mach1d.xy file from the project page and saved it to a useful location. This contains data points from the analytical solution. I find that it is useful to save it in the same folder as your .wbpj file for the Workbench project. Once you have it saved, we can add it to the plot by expanding plots in the tree, expanding xy plot, right clicking on mock plot, and selecting Edit. In the pop-up window, select Load File. We can now navigate to the location where the file is saved. If it is in the same folder as the Workbench project, this can be easily achieved by selecting the file path in the top bar and navigating to that folder.
select the file, and click OK. In the first window, click Save Slash Plot, and close the window. We can see that the data series follows the same trend. Interestingly, the analytical results seem to be nearly the average of the results along the symmetry axis and the wall. This is a good method of verifying our simulation. With this completed, make sure to save your project.